if you could pass on one thing to uh, a young a young person, uh, what would you like to pass on to them? When I first came to UCLA, on uh, a week before the first day of practice, which was always October 15th, right, was practice. One week before that, we had our team meeting, the only meeting of the year. In that meeting, and it was a shock to me, um, here I was, you know, at 26 points a game, 60 and a half rebounds in junior college. And there were seniors, you know, like Sidney Wicks, Curtis Rowe, these guys had won already two national championships or three. And there were uh, high school All-Americans. Larry Hollifield came out of Compton. This guy was a 6'5 guard that only lost one game in his life. That was U at UCLA against Notre Dame. He was undefeated in high school, won three straight <laughs> state championships. He was there, and I remember seeing him play in the final. This guy was so good. He, he ended up being an amputee, or he would have been a great pro. Uh, and Coach Wooden said, okay, everybody take off your shoes and your socks. And I thought, okay. He said, now I'm going to show you how to put your socks on correctly. And I'm, I'm thinking, I average 26 points a game and 16 rebounds. I know how to put my socks on. But I saw Sidney Wicks taking his shoes and socks off. And Curtis Rowe, two All-Americans. Kenny Booker. Steve Patterson. So I said, I better take them off. So... He showed us how to put the sock on correctly, which he had learned uh, as a kid, you know, working on the farm, uh, plowing, walking behind old Betsy, plowing the field. If you, if you have a wrinkle in your sock and you get a blister, you can't work the next day. So it was money, right? So he showed us how to just roll the sock up over the toes, smooth it out over the arch, smooth it out around the heel, smooth it out. Never pulling, never stretching the sock because that creates a wrinkle, right? And then smoothing the whole thing out. And then, of course, we had to put two socks on, um, or two pair. And then he taught us how to tie our shoes correctly and um, untie. And, and that was, uh, you know, it didn't take me long, about five, ten minutes to understand the importance of that. And to make the connect, and when I when we started practice a week later, and I saw all the detail that was paid attention to the elbow above the knee, the wrinkle on the wrist as you prepared to shoot the ball, uh, the knees bent, the joints all joints flexed and relaxed, and feet spread a little wider than the shoulders, chin up, back straight, uh, and all the details of every single fundamental, uh, the toe pointed a certain way and all that, I saw the connection. It's all about the little things. The little things, one little thing doesn't make a difference, but 10 little things do make a difference.